All right, then, folks. Uh, it's a cracking morning, Saturday morning, and uh, got a chair, some cardboard, some pliers. I've got some gloves and a plastic tub. Have a guess where I'm going to be doing today. I'll see you soon. You know, so you might have guessed it. This is a new greenhouse for home. It's got quite a good pipe match in it. So we're going to take all the glass out today. I've got a good bit of a, a bench for it as well. That's not bad. Just needs tidying up a bit. Glass are clean, jobs are done. And this is for home. So I'm going to get cracked on. All right, and folks, so we got the the roof out on the back side, and I put them separate, so I know which was which. So we'll take these front panels, put them separate, and all the side panels can go as, as they are as well, so I know they're the sides. So yeah, we're cracking on, and we've had one accident, so not bad. Let's see if we can get the rest of it up. All right, and folks, so that's all the glass out. And the only reason why I broke a pane is because of this nut here. I tried to loosen this up and it cracked the glass there with a nut that's holding the, the door thing. But I took one load of glass home, get this load home, and pick this up on Friday. So cheers folks. Fingers crossed we get this lot of glass home safely. I did the other one, so cheers. All right, folks, so, so we've got the greenhouse home yesterday. This is the base with the four stakes on each corner. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, it's not level around. So I'm going to make holes in each thing. I'll bore myself a nice hole and cement them in, cement the base in. So the base will be level and then I'll sort out underneath it at a later date. Uh, and at the minute I'm just scraping all the rubbish out of the frame. As you can see, all the moss and everything, it's quite bad. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, miles, if you could see, eh? I'm just scraping all that out and I'll sweep it up. Um, obviously, mark where my things are going to be my base. The base holes, like I say, there's a post on each corner. So, what I do, I dig them out and cement them in, like I say, to get the base level. And then, right where this isn't level here, I can use a bit of cement and, and, f and fill under that as well and sort it out. Try and keep it nice and uh, airtight. Try and keep it as warm as it can. And the floor, not sure yet. Keep an eye out for some insulation boarding, I think. <laughs> some off cuts and bits. We'll see. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll show you when I've cleaned it and we'll get glazed up. And I've still got all the glass to clean as well. <laughs> so nightmare. All right, cheers, folks. All right, folks, so I've been... Uh, cleaning all the tops out. What I'm going to do now is get this frame out, sweep it all out and get it sorted, get the base in, drill the four corners with the pegs and do it. Um, but why I've been doing, I've been watching Old McDarby's farm and he's took a greenhouse from out uh, a plot and basically chopped it to be four foot by six foot. So it's gone straight down there and then he's modified these bits, made the back bits in, put a new bar in across and he's glazed it up. But what he's done is turn the frame around and he's glazed it from the inside out because it backs up to a fence like that. I mean, it don't matter about that because I can slide that panel up and glaze that up and get out. So that's all right for that. The roof I can do from the inside. Just pop me head through each panel, reach over and clip them all in. So my answers have been prayed. I'm turning this round. So let's like I say, get the frame out and get this sorted. Just unbolt there and take all these out turn it around 
but what we'll have to do is get a strip of um, like your door stopping draft excluding stuff just to put a bit of a soft back on there because it won't have the rubber on there like this has so I'll get correct on and we'll see how we do Right then folks, so uh, I couldn't drill the cores out, I couldn't get down. So what we've done, uh, I turned it upside down and I'm going to use the stakes in the corner, just to infill. So my base up, my frame will sit inside that. Um, obviously I've got a set square, it's all level. Um, obviously we're not going to be able to put the gobbo in and doing it that way. What I'm going to do is have to put, make myself a little bit of shuttering all the way around and uh, man the concrete up. Hence for putting the few bricks there. They, they obviously holding the frame up where they were level. I wedged them up with bits of wood and then wedged them up with bits of rock. And uh, got a set square on look. So we're all level and we're square. I can't get this frame out, so that's why it's there and just wedged up. So it's a bit annoying, but um, that's what I'm going to have to do, I'm afraid. So, right, I'm going to get some cement around this now and uh, get this frame sorted. Right, I'm focusing on. Got the top already got the shutter in it. Just going to mix up. Charl it off, like I say, it's just going to sit just uh, a bit proud of this. And hopefully, it'll be a good, uh, good bit of weight. So, yeah, I'm going to get mixing up and get some chucked in. So, we'll be back.